queen. I'm sure you have heard the words of uh, Ishii Pius. The thing is, the matter is simple. You are not in this picture. We just want to let you know to fulfill all righteousness. I know you are not a traditionalist. I know you are in the church. But, and you also know that I am the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. You know. Go ahead and follow your church way and let God answer us. But I must not leave the gods out of this. I will worry them. I will go extra length with these my co-cabinet members to make sure that whoever was responsible for the death of our king is brought to book. That person will suffer the traditional punishment and whatever it takes. His life will become useless. But I'm not going far with this because what we have at hand is better. It's, 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 it's even greater now. As in the end, use a new we need to bury our king before any other thing. Then after the burial, we will go on an ambition. You will see the result. So please, keep attending the church and everything. Uh, the way people worship. While we are also to continue to worship our own way. What we want is this. If I turn again, knock up again, as well. at the end, let us have victory. Eh? Uh, at this juncture. My queen, please take heart and take good care of yourself. Don't think much. Not even at midnight. Eh? Take care of yourself. Take care of the princess and the prince. If there is any need to contact me, send your guard. I will come at once. Thank you, Anna. Oh? Thank you. So Seek it. Thank you. It's just a shock. I can't believe this happened. It's okay. Esther, my father was murdered. My father was killed in my right in front of me. I started the pain, the trauma. I can't I can't just put it behind me. However hard I try, so hard to put it behind, but I can't. The pain is just too, it's just too much. I have cried, Esther. I have cried. But it's obvious that my father is never going to come back. I have asked God. I've asked God to expose his killers. I've asked God to punish them wherever they are. I'm just, I'm just waiting for God to answer me. God will definitely answer you. Trust me, he will. Because he will never allow the sorrowful tears of his children to be in vain. God will definitely answer us. Hello, Frank. Where are you? Abuja. What are you doing in Abuja? And when did you even travel to Abuja? Frank. Honestly, you, you, you surprised me. I'm telling you. Frank, when I told you that I lost my husband, you couldn't even call to check up on me up until now. Even if 
my husband offended you, Frank, it shouldn't be enough reason for you not to attend his funeral. That's too bad. Ticket to Dubai. Which Dubai? Now listen to me, Frank. Cancel that ticket. Frank, you heard me. I said, cancel the ticket. Listen to me. Listen. Frank, if you don't cancel that ticket, believe me, I won't forgive you. Frank, you listen to me. Hmm? I'm your elder sister. If you fail to do what I asked you to do, like I said earlier, I will never forgive you again. I'm telling you, try me and see. Better. I will give you time to think about it, so I'm going to call you back in the next two hours, Frank. Very stubborn boy. How far now? My guy, calm down, calm down. You did that to go tea. You don't do clean job. As I talk to you now, the king don't go down. My bro, no shaking. They did that to go tea now. What did they solve? No shaking. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go. When you lap, you go package everything. No shaking. I deal with you. Everywhere I go. All right, I don't pay. No pay. No pay. Frank, can you please listen to me? Please, you need to come help your sister. Now listen to me now. Whatever problems or issues you had with my husband, you should know that he's dead. I'm not even against you, you know, not attending my husband's funeral. No, I'm not angry. Please, all I'm saying is, Whatever it is that you have in mind against him, in any way he offended you before he died, I just want you to forgive and forget. Frank, all I'm saying is for you to come help. Come and help your sister. Take over my husband's company. Please, you know everything about this company. I mean, you can't be here and I'll go and hire somebody that will come and run down my husband's company. Please, I'm begging. Frank, Frank, I know you are stubborn, but then this is the first time I'm asking you for a favor. Had it been my, my, my little prince is grown, I wouldn't have been begging you, but he's still a small boy. Please. Hello, Frank. <sighs> Papa, I... I invited you over. So that, uh... I will tell you what Frank is doing to me. Frank is not behaving well, though. Of course, Papa. I have been begging Frank to come take over my late husband's company. And Frank doesn't want to show up. I know too well Frank can run my husband's company properly because he knows everything about the company. He knows the in and out, the secret about the company. Yet he doesn't want to show up. Papa, you know that Prince is still a small boy. Yes, I do. Prince cannot take over his late father's company. My daughter, Princess, is still in school. Yes, both of them are young. Please, help me talk to Frank. Please. Okay, my daughter. Where is Frank now? He told me that he's now in Abuja. Frank in Abuja? That's what he said. When did he travel to Abuja and what is he doing there? Do I even know? 
I don't know. That was just what he told me that he's now in Abuja. That he has started work, uh, that he's working with one company that sends him to abroad often. I, I just don't understand. Frank, my son. Working in Abuja. And he's always traveling abroad. My daughter, I know my son very well. He cannot travel to Abuja without telling me. I don't believe this story. Please call him for me now. I didn't believe him too. Papa, take his ring and go. Good, good, good. Hello, Frank, my son. Papa, Papa, I can't hear you. What are you saying? Hmm. Papa, I'm on my way to the airport like this, so I'm not going anywhere. Papa, if you know what that man did to me, if you know what that man did to me, you'll not be telling me all these things. You listen to me very carefully now. Now you want me to go back and go ma 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 manage this company. For what? Papa, I'm not going there. Oh. I'm not going anywhere. Papa, I have another job now. As I'm speaking to you, I'm at Nikon Nuga Hotel. Chilling. I'm just waiting for my flight time so that I will go to Dubai, have a meeting there, and then come back to Nigeria. I don't need that nonsense business now. Baba? Baba, I'll, I'll call you back, please. I can't hear you. That place is very noisy. No, it's not from my end. It's from your end. Okay, Papa, I've heard what you said there. Eh? I've heard you. Okay. It's all right, Papa, I've heard you. What did he say? He didn't even say anything. He said he's coming back tomorrow. Oh, that's what he told you. It's happening. Oh, God. Gentlemen from my husband's company, I welcome you. Thank you. All right, I called you here to let you know that, um, first of all, I'm sorry I would have come to the office, but then I'm still in my morning clothes. That's the reason I invited you to, and I'm glad you came. It's all right. Having said that, uh, purpose for this little meeting is just to let you know that um, my younger brother, Frank, will be returning to the company as the new managing director of my late husband's company. So when you go back, I would like you to help pass this message to other staff for them to cooperate with my brother. Maximum cooperation, that's what I need here. Please. One more thing. Anything that has to do with money, any transaction whatsoever that has to do with money must pass through his office before the transaction will be carried out. Have I made myself clear? Thank you so very much. I'm glad you accepted because you have no choice. Thank you. So that'll be all for now. That's the reason I called you all. See you guys at work tomorrow. Good. Good. Mm. <laughs>
very short meeting. Mm, yeah. Frank, thank you so much for accepting to help your sister. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, I've been begging you, my brother, because I know you're capable of carrying my husband's company from building it from, you know, nothing to something. It's nothing, sister. It's nothing. All right, you're welcome. So when are you going back to school? Monday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, I cannot just wait to finish with my education so I can come join you in the running of Daddy's company. It will be so much fun. No, no. <laughs> Leave the running of the company for the man. <laughs> Once you're done with school, you practice what you studied, which is law. No, but Uncle, okay? I don't think running a company is a gender thing, you know. I mean, I can offer my service. I'll be more than willing to do that. I mean, my father went through a lot sending me to school and the least I can do is to give back. It's more like giving back, you know, to the company. <laughs> I'll be glad, mommy. <laughs> mommy, what do you think? I think she's right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You're, you're, you're I think actually... the company needs a lawyer, a good lawyer at that, and I know I'm going to be the best of for course, myself. So. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, you can always come, come around the company to see how the company is going. Mm? Of course. And if there's a problem, we'll hire you as the company's lawyer. You don't even have to pay me because I am going to give my all. We have to pay you. Everybody needs money. Ah, yeah. enough of so the well. argument. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. You and your baby sister. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, all yeah. right. It's, it's all right. right. <laughs> um. She's highly intelligent. What type of a brother in love is this? He's not far from a prodigal son. He's wicked, so extravagant. Living life is all he wants. Mm -hmm. Money is your target. You don't care how it comes. You're too greedy. He's what he thinks of, he's ready to kill for it. He's too greedy and wicked. He loves money too much. Money is your target, he don't care how it comes. You're too greedy and wicked. He's so much in love with money. Money is what he thinks of, he's ready to kill for it. He's too greedy and wicked. He's too greedy and wicked. Money is your and wicked. Don't care how it comes, you're too good and wicked. Money is what I came to say. Yes, Mr. Man, what is it? I came to find out if you are the one that wrote this termination letter to me. Whose signature do you have there? Your signature, of course, Frank. So what do you have a problem with? The signature? or the content of the letter. Fired? On what basis am I being fired, Frank? What have I done to deserve this? Mr. Man, we cannot have two captains in one ship. Especially when a smaller captain is a threat to the bigger captain. You're lucky I'm in a very good mood today. I would have framed you up and sent you to jail for a very long time. And by the time you come out, you will realize how not to mess with people. For real? Yeah, for real. Now I get it right. Frank, are you trying to use me to start your part also? But let me make it clear to you that this thing you have just did, you will live to regret it. It's a promise. I've done a lot of wrongs in my life, but I do not regret any. I want you to always know and have it to the back of your head. That I, Frank, sucked you with no penny in your pocket. <laughs> I know there's nothing I can do about this. Uh -huh. But this is the peak and the height of wickedness with the devil himself draws. Mr. Man, get out. You can't do nothing. I'll leave. Uh. But like I said, you will live to regret it. Uh. Sister, what I'm saying in essence is 
You are your husband's next of kin before he died. And right now, I need you to make me a signatory so I can have easy access to money to run some things in the company, especially contracts. Yes, we have a lot of contracts to run, lots and lots of contracts, and we need money to do that. In your condition, you cannot just leave the house and follow me every time to the bank to, to, to sign money. No, it's not nice. So I need you to make me a signatory to the account. Okay, Frank, like, um, how many contracts are we talking about here? While I was in company before your husband sacked me, we had like 18 contracts. Yes, and now I'm back, we have another seven on top of the 18. And there are lots of contracts to execute now. And this contract are government contract, and we need money to run them. We cannot execute them without money. And of course, you know, that's how the company makes money, from these contracts. So we need every contract at hand right now. Are you serious, Frank? Yes, I am. All right. Very serious. It's okay. In that case, eh? You have to come out tomorrow. Let me take you to the bank for you to meet our company's uh, account officer. All right. Okay? All right. So you will sign your signature. It's all right. That's, that's good. That's very good. So that we can put things in place immediately. Hmm. Sister, the kind of money I'll make for that company, you'll be shocked. You don't need to say. I'm telling you. I trust you 100%, my own brother. Ah. Kai! I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> you know that company is like my company. Eh? I'll do everything to make it stand out. Trust me. I trust you. Meanwhile, have you heard from the princess? Yes. Uh, I spoke with her uh, two days ago. Oh, okay. What about the prince? He's sleeping. <laughs> sleep, sleep. A <laughs> big man. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's all right, sister. I'll have to be on my way now. Mm? It's okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's all right. You I am grateful. Uh -huh. I am grateful, Frank. It's all right. Thank it's you. Want to be good, too grateful. Yeah. <laughs> all Frank, right. Bye bye, eh? It's a deep end. As a DB, I seen a look at Karaka music agent. It's now exactly 24 market days now since our king died. And we came to complain to you. You now told us to go and come back, that you will consult with the gods and tell us who killed the king. Exactly. That is the reason we are here. Yes. I have consulted the girls, and the girls have spoken. Good. Ha! Mm -hmm. ah, eyes of the girls. So, the, the girls have spoken. Now, who did they say killed the king? <laughs> who did the girls say it that killed the king? Go! and ask king's brother-in-law. He knows what happened to the king. What? Huh? Is it even? Are you sure you know what you just said now? <laughs> you do not ask the girl's question. Makana mo ada asi asi. Nene. Nene. Is it even? We believe you very well. <sighs> but what if we ask him? And he denies it. What do we do? Leave him and come back. I will tell you people what to do. The fight is for the girls. Thank you. Hey, let us. Go and do what I ask you people to do. Thank you. Naya, I can make it. I have to play on Twitter. Up Bunny Road. You can and them. What do you do? Uh, we shall come out and come back later. So I think. 
as na bakala ya mozo manozo ya na apa kru de ne bu sa lolo alolo olilo gbo maga na ga ju anu otu mo kuku nwa da nwa kuku nwe ngongo so Elders, why are you people standing? Please, let's go inside. Um, it's okay, I'll be. Uh, the reason we are here, my queen, is not to sit down. I they just as well go straight to the point. I hope all is well. All is well. We are here to pass a message from Israel. Please, 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 my um, queen, tell your brother Frank that the elders of this land want to see him in the palace tomorrow to give him a message from Ezemo of Obubute. I beg your pardon. Yes. What, are you, what are you talking about? What message from Ezemo? Let your brother come and hear the message first. Then, if he refuses to oblige, then whatever he sees, he takes. Hold on, please. Now, what is my brother's business with Ezemo? That's what I'm talking about. What kind of message is that? If he calls, we'll give him the message. Thank you. Well, let's go. What is all this? Why rejecting the drink I brought for you people? Why? Our queen, we are not here to drink. Instead, we are here on a very important mission, which we must achieve. <clears throat> Our queen, I'm sure you are. You can still remember the message sent by Ezemo to you through us. Two days ago. And we sent a message to your brother, Frank, through you. Where is he now? Because um, he can't keep us all day here. Yeah, um, I know. I believe um, he will soon be here. Hmm? Yes, I passed your message across to him. So hopefully, he'll be here soon. Okay. Sister? Frank. What's up? Mm. Good. What's going on? He's here. Oh, good. Good enough. Uh, Frank, yeah. we sent for you through your sister, our queen. Okay. Frank. You know. You are aware that our Ugo is late. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good. And you are also aware that he was killed by a non man. Yes, he was attacked. He was attacked by a non man. Good. God punished him. On hearing such news, mm. we, the elders of this land, swore never to go in arrest until we unravel the mystery mm -hmm. behind his death. Yes. Until we know those, until we fish out those who were instrumental to untimely death of our king. That's, that's very such true. brutal death. Mm. And you are fully aware that the incident happened after you had a kind of face off with him, had problem with him. Yes, mm -hmm. over I, his I, company. I, mm. And he was sacked. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, no. Just do try to understand, very important. Where are you going to with this statement of yours? No, I don't get it. What, 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 what's the meaning of what you just said? Now, we proceeded to uh, go shrine. Go, go, go shrine. Yes. And after consultations, the chief priest told us to tell you to go and ask you what happened to the king? Because you are fully aware of everything that led to his death. I beg your pardon. What? Yes. yes. That's what I, I said. I said, you know, the chief priest said, you know everything that led to the death of our Igwe. That was actually why we sent for him. Mm. Enough! Which means he killed him. What? Yes. Now what is all this? 
What's the meaning of this? Honestly, my queen, I think you're not getting this straight. Allow me get it now. Yes. Yeah, talk to me. Let, hey. me. let me clear you properly. Our oracle is pointing accusing fingers to your brother Frank for everything that happened to the king. Hey! Mm -hmm. Do you now understand? He killed the king. What? He killed your Sister, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You said this to my face. Sister, relax. You no. said that my brother, Frankie, killed my own husband. The oracle said it. Oh my goodness. Your oracle is indeed a liar. What? Of course you heard me. Oh if not for the respect I have for you people, I would have called my guards to bundle you red cap men out of this palace. What? Are you insane? What? Sister, hold on, let me, let me talk to this old fool. Eh? Alright? Listen! And listen good. I want you all to go back to that your wretched oracle. Tell that oracle to retire. Because other oracles, other places have retired and are destroyed. They're all retired. Do you get it? Go back and tell your lying oracle to retire. Your oracle is fake! Hey. Your own foolish men! What? Useless men! Frank! Do you realize what he just says an abomination? Shut up! Shut up right now! You are the abomination! All of you! You are all abominations! What am I even saying? Sister, you are here. I'm going to freaking call the police to come and arrest this man. For accusing me no. wrongly and mm. dancing my image. I'm not going to take this. Frank. I'm not going to take this. Enough. It hasn't gotten to that. Let them be. Okay. They're old enough. Oh, but listen to me. Listen to what? How do you think you have the, the, the audacity to insult the elders and the oracle? Imagine. Oh, Google Shrine. Now listen to me. You are in fact demanded to come to Google Shrine and swear. And that is as, that is as soon as possible. But then, let me say this. Tell us, Bios, this battle is for the gods. Ah. This battle is for the gods. We are not supposed to fight for the gods. We will fight for himself. Get ready to go there and swear. Oh no! Enough! It's high time you left the will, palace. Will I say I will live in good faith? Out! I will live. I said I out! Life. Yes, I will live and we shall come back. You are walking the elders of the land out, out of your house? Don't stop what you say. Go, 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 go. Bios, let us go. Get out! How dare you? You do? Just say, get out. Oh, get out! Hey! Do not send for me. Shh. Do not dare send for me. If you point your hand towards the queen again, <laughs> listen to me. Hey. I want to strike the gun. My God. Are you insane? Now will you get the hell out of this place? What kind of nonsense is this? No, but what, 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 what nonsense is this, sister? Who, who, who? Maybe they angry at me because I'm the one who's managing the company when I'm not even from this kingdom. They're expecting one of their sons to be the manager, not me. Why haven't I thought of this? My goodness, you know, when my husband was alive, I'm sure he's used to giving them peanuts all the time. Maybe that's what they're expecting you to do. Rubbish. Maybe that's what they want from me, but... It's all right. Let, let, let the, the kids take care of them. It's all right. No, it's okay. Just I have to go. I have a lot to do at the office. I, I, I just came. I, I, I didn't know it was because of this, this old fools. Eh? I imagine my busy brother trying to build my husband's company up and they are here accusing thunder. My dear, it's okay. Sister, don't worry. I'll it's all right. Just take good care of yourself. Okay, sister. All right, I'll call you back. Um, Princess. So what do I owe this visit? Okay, so I actually came to let you know that I'll be going back to school, let's say next tomorrow. Alright, that's good. So I'll be needing some money. <sighs> some money? Mm -hmm. And how much are we talking about here? Let's say like 500,000 naira onward for me to manage. 500 what? 1,000 now. For what exactly? 
What do you mean for what exactly? I just mentioned now that I'm going back to school. So I definitely need the money for my daily runnings, logistics, like feeding, transport. I mean, like, literally, logistics. You want to go back to school with 500,000 naira? Are you planning on feeding the entire school or what? What do you mean? Times are hard. Very hard. We're all trying to manage. But it's all right. Let me um, see what I can do. So you can go back to school and study. All right. Yeah. Make do that one. What is this? Money, of course. A hundred thousand naira. Yeah. And what am I supposed to do with this? Go back to school. This cannot take me back to school, clearly. Because this cannot even buy me my flight ticket back. I mean, so what am I going to be doing with a hundred thousand naira? And who told you you're going back to school with it? For the flight? I beg your pardon? Yes. When I was your age, I don't take flights. I take buses. Use this money, go out there, buy a bus ticket. All right? I'm sure it will take you back to school. I am lost. Mm. All right? I am not here to beg you for money. <laughs> I'm not begging you. I'm asking you to give me some money from my father's company. Have you forgotten where you are? This is my father's company, all right? Besides, my father doesn't even give me anything less than a millionaire for weekends. So I'm only asking you for 500,000 naira because I'm sensitive to the fact that things are hard. Or it might be like you are saying. So, are you you're giving me 100k like I'm some charity case you're trying to help? I don't get it. I don't. I don't want to disrespect you, but this cannot work. Well, this is your father's company. You're right. But your father is no more. I run this company now, okay? And right now, the company has committed money into so many federal and state contracts. So you see, we don't have any money left. Learn to manage. Cut your coat according to your size. That's what everybody's doing now. So manage that money. I'm sure it can take you back to school. There's no way I'm touching this money. Thanks for the insult. All right, I am not a charity case. It's all right, I'll just keep my money. Right. Mom, I really don't understand what is going on anymore. I don't understand. Hmm. You mean you went to Frank's office and begged him? For 500,000, and he couldn't even give it to you. He clearly didn't. He handed me over 100,000 naira, asking me to um, go by night bus when I complained that the money was not sufficient enough for my flight ticket. He even said um, when he was my age, he wasn't flying, he was going by road, that I should go by road. Mommy, can you imagine? You needed to have been there to listen to how he talked to me, as if I came to beg him, as if I'm one charity case. That's my father's company, it's my father's money we're talking about. Ever since daddy died, it's been so impossible to get money from that office. I'm struggling. And yet my father has so much, left so much behind. My brother said you should go by night, boss. My own child. It's all right. Nah, don't worry about anything. I'll go and look for that money and complete it for you. I didn't take the money, mommy. I left the 100k on his office desk. You left it there? Mm hmm And he didn't call you back? No, he didn't. The moment I dropped it, he said, oh, thank you, and kept it to himself. It's all right. I'll go and find out why Frank is behaving like this now to my own child. Hello, bank manager. Yes, good day. Uh, all is well, thank you, and walk. Please, there is something very important I would like you to do for me now. 
yeah i just uh need some cash because um i would like to dispatch some to my daughter yeah she's doing very well uh she's about going back to school so please uh from my husband's uh company's account i want you to withdraw like a million naira transfer to me in my own private account yes one million naira please Hmm? No, I didn't get that. What? My brother? Frank withdrew 4.6 billion. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When was that, please? Ha! All right, no problem. Thank you for telling me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, no problem. Just uh, transfer one million naira to my own account. And uh, I would like you to print out the statement of account. My husband's company statement of account. I beg your pardon. No need of printing out the statement. How much is the balance, please? Hold on, did you say 50 billion or? 50,000 Naira? In company's account? Manager, you can't be serious. 50,000 Naira? I'll call you. Is he all right? My husband's company's account, 50,000 naira. And my brother withdrew 4.6 billion. Hey! Be careful. The king is in trouble. Sister, this one you bash into my office looking so angry. What did you do with the latch? Amount of money you removed from the company's account. What? Is that why you're looking so pissed? Come on, sister. Sit down, let's talk about this. Frank, that's not an answer to my question. Well, the answer is simple. I used the money for business. And what kind of business is that? Contracts. The only business this company knows how to do best. I told you earlier we have lots of contracts to execute, both federal and state. Right now we're about to complete the biggest contract ever of all. 160 duplexes? Oh yes, we're almost done with that. After which we'll go into um, the state contract. Hold on Frank, all these things that you just mentioned here now, how much are we looking at? 11 billion naira. Now, how do you like the sound of that? Hold on. You mean 11 million? I said 11 billion. 11 billion? Exactly. So, you see, I've been very busy. Frank, that's huge. Of course, it has to be huge. I'm involved. Are you serious? Very serious. Huh? Gracious God, are you for real? Of course I'm for real. No, that's nice. Oh. I love it. I know. Good, I'm, I'm happier now. I mean, a bit relieved, you know. Of course. But then again, when will you finish the contract? And when will they pay this money? Because 
I will not lie to you, my brother. My children and I are hungry. No, that's, that's not going to happen. Your children cannot be hungry. You cannot be hungry. Well, the thing that is in six weeks, the federal government is going to release the first money. Ordinary six weeks? Yes. So in six weeks, this company is going to get paid. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you, Frank. Thank You're you. Welcome. So where is um accountant? Please help me tell him to pay in some money into my daughter's account. She seriously needs some money to sort out some things in the school. That's all right. I'll instruct him to do that right away. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You see, everything I'm doing is for the betterment of this company. At the end of the day, I will make you proud. I Please, I can't wait. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. You have to. I should be on my way now, Frank. It's all right, sister. Take care of yourself. All right, don't forget to tell accountants what I told you. It's very important. I'll do just that. Have a good day, sis. You too. All right, then. Take care. Take care, sister. All right. Your Majesty, I have decided to come and see you and to let you know that there is a problem. Nobody knows what is going on in Ken in the company. Everybody is complaining. Your brother Frank has pushed everybody behind. And doing everything in his own likeness. Nobody understands everything. And if you try to approach him or to ask him one or two questions, he will show you and proudly say that he is in charge. That mean you said nobody understands anything, right? Exactly. Just like I'm not understanding anything you're saying here. You haven't made any point yet. Your Majesty, all I'm saying is this. Your brother is now building houses of his own at every corner of this city. Why the company's fortune is going down day by day. Nobody understands everything. Nobody understands everything. He's now running the company as one man show. We the employers. Nobody knows what he's doing. Nobody. Many staff have resigned because he's no, he's no longer paying them. So I decided to come and let you know. Admin manager. Your Majesty. I know your type too well. Your type is a type that goes about spreading false rumors about people, about innocent people, to be precise. I know your type. Can you stop? All that my brother is doing in my husband's company, I am aware of it. So stop this gossip. You are too big for this. Um, Don't you think so? Your Majesty, I'm sorry. Since, since you know everything your brother is doing, what of the unpaid salaries? Are you insane? Get out. Leave this place! It's okay. It will never happen again. It's okay. Your Majesty, it will not happen again. It's okay. You're here. You sent for me. Of course. Yeah. Enough! Enough! Please go to the backyard and sweep that place first. Frank. Yes, sister. I'm not really happy. What happened? Somebody just left here now. The person brought a report against you. The person came to tell me that 
You have not been doing anything in the company. That in fact, you almost shut all the staff up and kept them in one corner. In fact, almost locked them up in one corner. In other words, what he's trying to say is you do everything on your own. You're leaving them in the dark. How? Then I'm not asking why, if that's what you did. And he didn't stop there. He said that all you do now is to buy houses. What? That you have refused to pay the staff their salaries. You buy cars. And I'm like, whose car is this? Well, that's my friend's car. My car developed a fault, so I had to park it at the mechanic and borrow his to run errands today. For real? For Who's real? this person that has been telling you this kind of thing? I, I don't understand. The same staff are increased their salaries without informing you first? Why would I go building a house without telling you, my darling sister, first? How? Hold on. The only salary I owe those staffs is that of this month. And the month is not over yet. Of course. So what are you talking about? Hold on, oh, hold on. Let me get it. You even increased your salary. Yes, I did. Without even telling me. <sighs> when you're trying to be nice to them, yet this person had the nerve to come and gossip my brother to me. He's even insane. Sister, who's this person that told you this rubbish? I need to know who this person is, so I can know who to avoid in that office. Well, let me not lie to you. It's the admin manager, Obiora. Obiora? Of course, Obiora. He just left here. The same fool that came to my office three days ago to beg for a loan to start a building project in his village. And I told him the company didn't have that kind of money to spend at the time. That should hold on so I can think about it and then, then you know, know when to, 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 to give him a loan. Maybe next month. Hope you have the guts to come tell you this. Oh, he wants a loan to start up a house? Huh. You refused? Yes, I so refused. So that you can increase the capital, I mean the company's money. So that's the reason he got angry. So that's the reason Obiora came to gossip my brother to me. So it's not for the way that we are. This, this person would have caused problem between both of us. But it's not possible now. That's the reason I called you first to ask you. Ah. People are it's so a, mean. It's all right, Frank. It's all right. Ah. This, this, this is crazy. It's all right. Just come in. Let me give you something to eat. I prepared a very good food. No, don't worry about that, sister. I'll eat. Maybe I'll come back in the evening to eat. Right now, I have a lot of errands to, 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 you know, to tackle. All right? Wow. Yeah, I need to work. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you maybe in the evening, okay? Be very careful. Yes, I will, I will. Especially with the car. It's not yours. I, I but will, it, it really suits you. <laughs> it's, I mean. I will, but it's not my turn to drive this kind of car. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You're trying to build the capital. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. What is that? Frank! What is the meaning of this? Oh, it means you now have enough time to do your gossip. Oh, Mr. Frank. You know that I did not do anything to deserve this. Mm. I put all my best in this company uh. to make sure that this company is booming. Uh. And you have the God to terminate my appointment in this company. Uh. Uh. Anyway, I will leave. But I will remind you of today. It's just a promise. For I'm doing this, you must regret it. I'm waiting for that one day. May God bless you. Amen. Bye bye. Yeah. 
Mama, Ekene, Ezani Gwa Godana Gwena, Ekene, Ekene Gwa Munu, Ekene Ati Keringene, Keringene Kerimuli Gwa, Ekene, We have gathered here today to pay a libation and respect to our king. Hmm. You work let us. I could be a our revered king of our kingdom who was brutally murdered by our own government. We have come to seek revenge. Yes, sir. We have come to demand that you retaliate. Yes, that's what. Okay. Bring them to a book. That's what. Okay. And let, me, let them be disgraced. Fish them out and punish them accordingly. We are in Asio. Can you go back? Can you push you? Get out of here! Far from the far from the city. 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 No matter where they run to, fish them out. Far from the city. You see? You don't go there. I know. See, anywhere they run to. They are in trouble. Okay, do it. Bossy again. Do it. Bossy over here. Can't jump, bossy off. He said. He said. Bossy on go. Okay, I'm on the highest level. He said. No peace, no rest. He said. He said. Until they come out. He said. They must be brought to book. He said. And punished accordingly. He said. Ghosts of our ancestors. He said. Everything we say today, you will, we will have your backing. He said. He said. May their paths be filled. He said, May they die. He said, May their night falls in daytime. He said, And may they suffer the recompense of their wickedness. And by this usher, let them become a taboo to human race. Anywhere they are, one by one. Mbosieke, Mbosiorie, Mbosiavo. Bossy, I know, Bossy, now know it, Bossy, Bossy, he said. I've been talking to you, asking you questions, yet you're not answering. Why are you frowning? What's the matter, Princess? Hmm? My darling, what is it? Mom, it's your brother. It's Frank. Frank refused to give me the money. Of course, that is after insulting me and telling me his usual stories of contracts here and there. He insulted you? He did. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I want you to understand that Frank doesn't have money for now. Of course, he invested you know, in one contract and, uh, well, all I'm trying to say, there is no money for now, but very soon we'll be fine. Mom, what has come over you? What is going on? Why do you believe him so much so that you, you just believe there's a contract somewhere and money's waiting to be collected? Is it because he's your brother? He tells you all these lies and then you just take everything. Mommy, can't you see? Can't you see that there's no contract anywhere? I mean, this very contract he's using as an excuse was the same contract father was doing while he was alive and the family was fine. There was no excuse like this. I mean, there is no contract anywhere. He's lying. How can you say your brother is lying? Your uncle can be lying. Of course, there is contract somewhere. The only thing is for us to be a little bit patient with him, that's all. Just relax a bit. Please, that's all I'm saying. Frank is really trying, you know. But just that you're not seeing it. Now listen. When the federal government pays in this 11.9 billion. <laughs> you know that money is huge, it's large. It's not here. When the money comes, we'll be fine. So just relax, please. Mommy, 
you surprise me. How? Okay. How am I supposed to go back to school? What am I going to do? Where is the money going to come from? Because I do not even have any money in my savings. Listen. I promise you, you will go back to school. I mean, even if it means me going to ask for loan from somebody, I, I, I don't mind. Yes, but you will go back to school. Mom, do you know where you are? Do you know who you are, mommy? You want to go out there seeking for a loan? Mommy, why are you refusing to understand the fact that this brother of yours is nothing but a scam? He's a scammer, mommy. There is no money anywhere. No, no. You can say anything you want to say. But I will not condone you calling my brother names. Your uncle is not a scammer. Please. Come on now, we know too well how I was begging Frank to come and occupy this position, yet he refused. You know how long it took me to convince him. He reluctantly agreed. And now, you are here in front of me calling him a scammer. Ah, I thought you better, sweetheart. Please delete such a thing from your mind. He's not and will never be. Please. Um, Mom, I sincerely hope that by the time you realize this, it's not too late. My love, I called you out here to appreciate you for everything. Especially for your patience with me all through my times of struggle. Yeah, baby. I know I've been through a lot. And you were there with me. All through the hard times. Hmm? And so I brought you out here to let you know that I'm happy. I'm happy you stood by me. I would love you to check your phone. To see. Check my phone? Yeah, check your phone. I sent a token to you. Jesus Christ. Wait, 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 wait. Baby. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. He's this is one, one, mi one millionaire. Yes, I sent you one millionaire. You deserve it. And even more. And trust me, from where this is coming, there are more. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you too. I love you. So, this is cheers to um, a new beginning. To us. To us forever. I love you. Love you too. Oh my god. Jeez. Princess. Mom. Have this. That's 300,000 naira. Please manage it. Go back to school. By the time you return, I must have arranged for more money for you. But please, for now, use this one wisely. You know how things are. And where did you get this? Did your brother eventually give you money or you, you borrowed it? Of course I borrowed it. What? Mom, so you mean you went ahead to borrow money, despite all I told you? No, no, no. There's no way I'm keeping this. No. Take I, it back. I don't understand. I can't have it. Why not? How are you going to cope? You don't even have feeding money. You don't have transport fare. So how will you cope in school? 
I'll manage. I'll manage. I'll manage the little that I have. Um, I think I'll go by road, at least. That's, you know, take care of that transport part. Why? Why? I mean, how can I see them watch my little daughter suffer like this, traveling by road? God. I wonder why this federal government doesn't want to release this money for us. Let them at least try and release this money. Knowing how much Frank invested in this contract, it's not a small money. And it's successful. It's just left for the federal government to reciprocate by, you know, giving us back this huge amount of money for this family at least to be happy again. But I'm not even asking them to pay that amount. All I'm saying, let them give us little, at least for us to solve problems in this family. I don't mind. Well... I think I know what to do. Princess, mm -hmm. I think I have to sell one of your father's cats. Of course, for us to survive. That's a joke, right? How do you mean? Mom, you can't possibly be thinking of selling daddy's cars. It's barely six months daddy died and you're here contemplating on selling his property. <laughs> Please, mommy, that is way too early. All right? This shouldn't even come up at all. It's not possible. You can't do that. I understand, but it's just for us to survive. Your dad is dead already. Mom, it's not proper. Okay? You can't. I think, given the circumstance, the best thing to do is for me to sell off my own car. I mean, that sounds a bit fair. I mean, what's the point driving a car in school when I have all of these issues. I think I should sell my car. I will sell my car. Sell my car. That's the best. That's the best thing to do. Um, what is going on? What are you doing walking along the road? I sighted you from afar. Aren't you supposed to be at work? It's work hour. You mean office work? Yes. Uh, I'm no longer working here for that company. You, you resigned? No. Your uncle, Frank, sacked me. What? Because I came to your house. I'm told you, I'm wondering everything that has been happening in that company. How Frank is running that company down. You diverting don't? every company's contract to himself. Building his own personal houses with company's money. Seized sal worker's salary for complete fools. But your mother did not listen to me. He just shouted at me and chased me out of the house. He, she later told Frank what I said. And Frank sacked me. So Since then, I've been working under the sun, under the rain. Looking for a job. Oh my god. 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 So you mean you, you told my mother all of this <laughs> and it's end you with sack instead? My princess, the story did not end there. The first day Frank resumed work in the company yes? as the managing director, he sacked Mr. Johnson. Because no. Mr. Johnson told your father every fraud he is committing in that company. That's as I speak with you now. Mr. Johnson is also searching for a job. For real? <laughs> Wait business. a minute. All of this is going on in my father's company and nobody told me about it. So Frank becoming the managing director of my father's company is just to make a mess of my father's legacy over the years and turn the company upside down? Yes, my princess. Oh my God. Um, where can I find um, Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson. Yes, where can I find him? Do you know where I can find him? Yes, yes. You do? Yes. Is it possible that you take me there? Why not? Please, 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 if you don't mind, oh, let's go. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay.
My princess, I would so appreciate it if you and your mother can do everything you can to stop Frank's excesses in running that company. Because if nothing is done in the next three months, Frank is going to liquidate that company. He's evil. He has no interest of you, your mother, nor the company's at heart. Um, please, if I take you to my mom, will you be able to repeat this before her? I mean, so that at least she can hear this from you directly. Oh, well, why not? My princess, I'm ready to tell your mother everything I have not even told you yet. And if she doubts it, let's her very far from the other stuff. In that case, what are we waiting for? Please, can you just come with me already? Let's go. Please, thank you so much. Please get in. Mom, I just want to beg you to calm down and listen to what they have to tell you. Please. Listen to which people, if I may ask. I'm asking you, which people? You mean these two? These animals that you brought from the zoo. To do what? Huh? I'm asking you. What have you come to do? Is it not to gossip? That's all they are good at. Mom. If you mom me, one more word. I'm asking you. You came, right? To gossip Frank. Frank, Frank, Frank all the time. A young boy you can give back to. You should be ashamed of yourself. Just take a look at you. Why? Because it's... Hey, I'm not done. You, Obiora. The other time you came to my house, what did you come to do? If I may ask, gossip. Instead of you to tell me that you want or you wanted my brother to give you a loan for you to go get married, then build a house. The young man that is hardworking refused because he's trying to build my late husband's company. That's the reason you hated him so much. And you? I'm talking to you, you animals, you. You in particular, now you listen to me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You in particular. Were you not the one who framed my brother up in front of my husband and my husband sat him? Why? Because you were I in his position. The position did you get? No, you didn't. So why can't you let Frank be? No, you cannot. Now you listen to me. On the count of three, if you two idiots don't leave this place, you will regret it when I return. Mom. And you! Yes, Mom. Princess. Mom. I am ashamed of you. Bringing these two animals. Does this place look like zoo to you? Now you better return them where you brought them from. Else, you will not like what I will do to you, you and you. I'm still counting. Um, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. Sorry for this embarrassment. All right, this was unintended. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Um, so I just want to beg you to go for now. I mean, just give me some time to talk to my mom. You know, this whole revelation right now from your mother, it's so shocking to me. Not just me alone here, including Obiora. But it's all right, my princess. Sincerely, the fault is not yours. But I know time shall come when your mother will come to understand us and what has been playing out here. Can you imagine? But I will just pray that it will never be too late when that time will come. Can you imagine? Hey, Josie, can you imagine? Frank lied against me that I asked him for loan to build a house and get married. Second wife or third wife? Try. Anyway, I will not It's alright, my princess. Yes. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Really sorry. Please just blame it on me, okay? I take full responsibility for all this.
it, my dear. I'm fine. And I'm not fine. I have body pains. I have a headache. And that's because I came by road. So I'm really stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Sorry. No, it's fine. Just that my body hurts. By road? Mm -hmm. Why? You missed your flight or there was no flight? Mm -hmm. My sister. I really missed my flight though. There was actually no money to buy a ticket. My uncle refused to give me money. I'm talking about my dad's money, not his. Of course. <laughs> so he didn't give me money for tickets, not even money for school. So I had to manage the little that I have. So I came by road. Did you talk to your mom about it? What did she say? She... She confronted him. You know. But of course, he came up with the usual story of... You know, his money's been stuck with the federal government <laughs> for the contracts he executed. And my mom believed him anyways. But I don't. Right now, I... I'm just praying to God to help me scale through with my education because I cannot wait to take over my father's company because that's about the first thing I'm going to do as soon as I'm done with my studies. So somehow I, I just have to find a way through all of this. Yeah. Oh, um, this is really bad. Sorry. No, it's it's fine. So, what's up with you? What about you? Why? I'm sorry, my my mood kind of dampened your excitement. What's the excitement about? What's the good news? <sighs> Praise things. I'm what so happy. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say it. Okay. Are <clears throat> you ready for the gist? Of course. <laughs> Updates me. What's good? If came my boyfriend, I went to see him. You mean the same FK you've been telling me about, or a brand new one? The same FK I have been telling you about. My boyfriend is now a bean on air. <laughs> Babe, FK gave me one million naira. Also gave me money to book my flight. Ticket. Wait. <laughs> the same FK who doesn't give you transport fare? I'm telling you. Gave you a millionaire. A millionaire. And booked you a flight. My goodness. I can't, can you imagine this? Oh, wow. I hope I'm not dreaming. No, of course you're not. <laughs> Listen, you deserve this and more, darling. Thank you. I mean, your, your patience is paying off. Thank you. I'm too. happy for you. Thank you for all you do for me. Come on. So. Wow. Should I say congratulations? So, I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry about my mood, of course. I was already in this mood before you came in. It has nothing to do with what you're saying. But trust me, I'm happy for you, my darling. I am. I know you are. Wow. So, hmm. let me now surprise you, my best friend. With what? And then you will see. Check your phone. I just sent you 400,000 naira. Please stop it. You just have to manage it. Okay? At least you can Wait. get yourself some things. You, you sent me for. It's nothing now. 400,000. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's something. Do you know what this money can do for me in my present state? Oh, please. <laughs> this, is a, this is a lot. Is not a lot compared to My what you have been doing for me. Goodness. <laughs> You're happy? I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm in total shock. You don't have to say anything. Esther. You have been doing more than this for me. Come on. <sighs> Forget about your uncle, okay? Esther. Whenever you need anything, come on. Want to make me cry. Anytime you need anything, now that my you. boyfriend is rich, Thank just so call much. me. <laughs> You don't know what it means. It's a good person that gives, not a rich person. 
Do you have to give because you have good hearts? You are good. I don't want to cry. Don't think about your uncle anymore. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. You know I love you. Thank you. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. You are you so crying? Well. Oh, I'm trying not to <laughs> cry. I just come easy. All right, one step down, another step down. Yeah. Babe. Yep. What's going on? All right, I. I want you to guess what's going on. You know I can't guess. Come on, you can guess. Try something. I can't. Stop keeping me in suspense. Okay. I will not keep you in suspense anymore. What's going on? I'll just untie your blindfold so you get to see what I have for you. There you go. Ah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> of course, go ahead. It's your car. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. Go ahead and spin your car. Come on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do something. Start your car. Try, you can try. Mm -hmm. Yes, break down. Ignition. There you go. Hold on, this is not your car. Whose car is this? I mean, now the latest car owner in town. How? I'm not kidding. This is my car. So how how did you get this car? If they gifted me a car, that's all right. Get away! What? Go in, go in. Like, are you serious? Take me round town. I think we should have a dinner. dinner maybe, right? yes, maybe something. Can maybe I just something. change so you take me Why out in your new car, car? Please! By the way! My God! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're driving like this good. When did you even learn how to drive? Because you and I know that before now, you couldn't even you know, start a car. Jesus Christ. What was Jesus Christ about Say that? Say insult. Wait, my princess. You did try insult me. Are you pretending? <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, you yeah. cannot even pretend with me because I know you better than yourself. All right? How are you so sure? Mm -hmm. Can you start telling me what sort you have to drive? Well, <laughs> God, I was that for a <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but it's okay. The most important thing is you're so from? perfect. Your 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 grip mm -hmm. is very strong. Mm -hmm. At least I'm safe in your car. We're not going to climb a pole before they fear. <laughs> Oh, oh scared, my. Okay? I got you covered. I know. I can see the confidence. <laughs> I'm so happy. You. I'm so Don't happy. Don't worry. I'm happier for you, my love. I am. Okay. Okay. You surprised me. I can't even believe that. Okay. Like, he just bought this car and dashed you. I swear. He blindfolded me. He said, Karma, I have something for you. I was like, what? One would thought is a proposal. Hmm. I think that's the first thing that will come, come to my mind. I Didn't think... you at some point think he was, you know, trying to propose? No, like... What were you thinking thing... in your mind when you were blindfolded? In my mind, I was like, where is this guy taking me to? Where is he taking me to? My God. Oh. So, but, this FK of yours, I don't know. Are you sure this is for real? Do you... Are you sure of him? Of course, I'm very sure. Very, very sure. Hundred percent. He's caring. I mean, he's every woman's dream. Huh. I'm lucky. Can't wait to meet him, though. Sure, you will. Will you travel with me, please? Since you're going home, let's go together. Oh, so, okay. okay, we'll see you. So, but are you sure you can drive us safe home? I'm just respecting you because it'd be princess. Please don't insult me. No, I'm just saying, Abby. Just in case, so mm. are you sure this driving you're driving with not just within town? And drive. Come and drive. No, but it's actually gonna be fun for us to do like a road trip. Yeah. Like girls' road trip. Yeah, it's gonna be with fun. loud music. Mm. Mm. How did you know? It's been a long time I did that, so I don't mind. Uh, and at least that would also avail me the opportunity to to you know to meet him. Mm. Same here. Same here. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Me too. Thank you so much for everything. For what? Thank you for always being there for me, oh. caring for me, a girl without father and mother. It's okay. Now you want to make mm. me cry. You're not my mother. You're not my father. Oh. You're not my sister. Okay. My brother. My everything. Yeah, and I'm happy that FK now in your life was taking care of you. No, 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 no. FK is there, but you, you mean a lot to me. Oh, no, no. I can't join you for anything. That's so sweet. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> to my boyfriend's house. <laughs> I'm not. What? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for keeping you waiting. So happy for you. Thank you. I mean, whose cars are these? My boyfriend's cars. Your boyfriend owns these cars? Of course. These two plus the one you drove out with. Sorry, is he renting or he bought? I mean the house. Is he renting? Renting, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> he owns the house. <laughs> are you shocked? I am. I told you he's well, a you know big what? guy. I'm so happy, like so happy for you. I know. Goodness. Thank you. Please go. Thank you. Hi, my princess. Mm. Goodness, I can't believe that this is your place. Yeah, this is my home to be. Girl, you're living in heaven. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Make yourself comfortable, okay? I'll be right back.
Um, are you okay? Yes, I I'm fine. Is is this FK? Yeah, that's my guy. Huh? The sweetheart I'll be telling you about. <laughs> He's cute, right? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. uh, not at all. I'm just I mean, he's so cute. Yeah, come on, see. Goodness. Oh, so this is the guy you've been talking about? Mm -hmm. He's the one. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. I have known FK all, I mean, I've been hearing of his name all my life. <laughs> I never thought he was going to be this cute. He's cute, right? Are you asking me? My goodness, that's my guy. I love you so much. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I feel like you're living in heaven. Of course. How did you know that? <laughs> you sure you're okay? You're all right. I am. I'm, uh, gosh, I'm just, I'm just being, um, just a little worried about you. There's this unrest I feel inside. Worried about me? Yes, I mean, this is your FK guy, considering how young, rich, and handsome he is. You know, I mean, he's been taking care of you, doing practically everything for you, including buying you a car. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a future here? I don't understand. I mean, I don't want you to come crying. He looks like... Someone who's going to be a specialist in uh, breaking uh, hearts. Mm, 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 mm. Not my FK. Are you sure? This guy, uh -huh. he's everything to me. I love him so much. Like, I trust him. I mean, believe me. It's okay for you to love him, but how are you sure he loves you, like, right back? I know. How? See, he promised to be the house for me in the village. Hmm? He has done enough. He's cute, he's sincere. I mean, he's so real. Have you tried to put him to put him through some kind of tests to be sure that you're not gonna come crying? Test? Mm hmm <laughs> No. What do you mean no? I mean, if you're so sure that he loves you, I mean you can you can just try him. Nothing spoils if he passes the test. What kind of test? Listen, I'm just speaking as your friend, all right? Because I'm really, really worried. I wasn't this worried when I didn't, like, see him because I've never seen a picture of him before. You know, but seeing how he looks, <laughs> my dear, I can tell you that this guy <laughs> doesn't really love you as much as you love him. Uh -uh. I can oh, tell you for free. Oh, my princess, please don't go there. Not my FK. Okay, fine. If he loves you, then test him. Um, how about, how about you teasing him or tactically asking asking for his maybe asking him to show you his properties maybe investments here and there because a guy will only do that if he's sure that you are going to be his wife he won't do that with just a random girl so if he doesn't then you know that that man is not for you okay let mm -hmm. me bust your bubbles i said the guy mm -hmm. fk my boyfriend yes. My love, my sweetheart, mm -hmm. I know everything about him. But his documents, everything, he doesn't hide anything from me. So there is no need of testing him. Liar. I'm serious. You know, I, can tell, I can tell you're lying. Me lying to mm -hmm. you? Like you know things about his properties, you know things about the documents everything. of his properties. Everything. Okay. Oh, please. I will prove you wrong. Lies. Come with me to his room. So a guy as cute and rich and young as this will show you his investment in properties. You're not even his wife yet. That is to show you how much we trust each other. Come with me. Are you for real? Let's go to his room. I'll show you everything. You're serious, right? I'm serious. Your phone. Um. Mm. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Mm. Easy. Mm-hmm.
this file contains all the documents of my boyfriend's properties, both developed and undeveloped ones. For real? Mm -hmm. Just go for it. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you know that I didn't even believe it when you were... My goodness. <laughs> Look at this. I told you, these are a lot. Yeah. Do you mean... Wow. Look, I, I am so happy for you. I don't even know what to say. You're happy I mean, now. of course, I am. <laughs> I know. Look, at least now I can be rest assured that my girlfriend is in a safe hand. Hey, you can say that again. Put them back. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy that you're happy. Of course, this is so, so nice. Wait, let me help you. Let me help you, Zika. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. So, thank you so lucky. I'll be right back. This is unbelievable. You're convinced now? Un undoubtedly. Are you okay? Mm. I have a um, light headache. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Can I get you water? Okay. Right. Water is fine. I'm coming. So much. You're welcome. Um, do you by any chance have a painkiller here to suppress it? Yeah, I think I have Panadol. Should I get you Panadol? Uh, no, 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 I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm allergic to Panadols. I only take paracetamol. Is there a pharmacy next door? Yeah, very close. Please, maybe you can just get me paracetamol, please. All right. Oh my goodness. Sure, you're good. Mm. I'll be right back. Okay. I was actually waiting for you to come back. It just took a while. I have to go. Go? Mm. I feel a bit sick. Mm. I'm sorry. Thank you. Can I drop you off? Mm? No, you don't have to. Let me just go home and take care of myself. I just thought of something. Meeting your boyfriend for the first time and him meeting me sick. Why not rest a little bit? No, I don't want to rest, you know. I don't want your boyfriend to meet me sick. And you know I've been meeting for the first time. First impression matters. That's not a good way to meet someone. Of course it matters. First impression matters, okay? Um, I'll be fine. Let me take you home. No, you don't have to. Stay back and cook for your man. You know you're almost a married woman now. Are you sure? And that's what makes a good woman. <laughs> cook for your husband to be. I'll just drive myself home. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm. I'll take this when I get home. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. Are you serious? Joy, you have been sick for the past two weeks and nobody told me. But, but, but why now? Are you serious? I'm sorry. Is Frank aware that you're not feeling too well? He's aware he couldn't even take you to the hospital. I beg your pardon. Buy medicine from pharmacy. Well, since you said you're getting better, it's all right. It's all right. In that case, I'll come and see you next week. All right. Chai. Mom, who was that? My father. Is he sick? Yes. Oh. He told me he's been down for the past two weeks. I'm not even aware. Oh my God. Though he said he's getting better. And from his voice, I think he's getting better. Whew, thank God. <sighs> Hold on. Are you done resting? Mm-hmm. Um, oh. I'm okay now, Mom. Okay. I'm fine. Mom, mm -hmm. I would like to ask you. I'd love to ask you a question, if you don't mind. What is it about? When was the last time you heard from your brother, Frank? Yesterday. Okay. We spoke yesterday. Any problem? Any problem? Like seriously, you asking me that? Mom, it's obvious there's a problem. What's the latest updates about the billions the government owes him? What's new? What's new is that he told me hmm. that they will be paying in middle of next month. That's what's new. And you believed him? Why would I not believe him? How else do I make you realize that this brother of yours is nothing but a scam, a fraudster, a very... If if Come on, will you close your mouth? What has come over you? God have mercy. Do you realize the person you're calling names is my younger brother and your uncle? Are you insane? I mean, I remember when I gave birth to you. Frank was here. The way Frank carried you and everything. What is all this? I mean, I can't watch you sit in front of me and you're calling my brother names. No, stop! Please pull my legs, Joa. Your own is becoming too much. Listen, Didier. We came to ask you why Ogogo has not taken any action since the death of our Igwe. We came to lay the complaint concerning our Igwe's death. And you told us that Frank is responsible for the death of our Igwe. Yeah. But to our surprise, up till now, Frank is walking freely everywhere in the village. Eh? Everywhere in the village. Please, don't let us begin to think that uh, Ogogo is powerless. 
Let Ogugu take action immediately. Let there be result. And so that they will not think we elders are liars too. Yes, of course. The ways of the gods is different from the ways of we human. Ogugu Ada Rahola. You people should go home and allow Ogugu to go for a revenge. Now, both of you should leave my shrine. I have something to do. Thank you, Ezebi. <sighs> Thank you very much. Here, sir. These are all the documents, I mean original documents, of all the properties he bought with my father's company funds. This is good. This is good. With all these documents here, he'll be disgraced in court if we present our case well. But we need to convincingly establish a case of misappropriation and mismanagement of funds against him. Okay. In that case, let's head to court. First, we need to start disgracing him by getting him arrested, then taken to court where we will seize all the stolen funds from him, then kick him out. What are we waiting for? Let's start immediately. In that case, I have to call the commission of police to get him arrested. Okay, okay. Then I'll get back to you. That's, that's perfect. All right, so um, I'll just leave you to do all you have to do while I wait to get the feedback. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll be on my way now. Oh, don't mention, don't mention. All right, have a nice day, Barista. You're welcome. Frank. This one, you're sounding like this. I hope all is well. I can't hear you well. What? That what happened? How? My own daughter arrested you? What did you do to her? My goodness. Frank, which police station? And you're sure you didn't do anything to my daughter? She just arrested you. Are you serious? All right, Frank. I'm coming. Good afternoon, Mom. My brother just called me now, telling me that you arrested him. Why? I don't have anything to explain to you as regards that. I beg your pardon. What is that supposed to mean? You're not going to believe me, Mom. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. What? Right before me, you call my brother names? You're not even afraid that Frank is your mom's younger brother. You had a nerve to arrest my young brother and you call him names before me. What did he do to you? Mom, like I said, I am not going to explain too much, okay? What is most important is the bottom line has been drawn. I am not backing down. I am going to deal with this brother of yours so much so that when he sees me coming from one end of the road, he's going to run into the bush. Keep him quiet, princess. Yeah. I'm just respecting you because you're my daughter. I would have dealt with you my own way. Princess, you're pushing me.
bothering me? What is it? I'm trying to open my door. Oh, I forgot, Princess. I thought I could change the key. And what do you mean, Princess, that I could change the keys? Sir, Did I tell her my keys are having issues? So I think you should see her and sort out things with her. And where is she? She's at the board meeting. That's where I'm coming from. And I could call the board meeting without my permission? What's the meaning of this? Why would he call for a board meeting without my permission? And why in God's name did you lock up my office? Did I just hear you say permission? I do not need permission from you to hold a board meeting. In case you've forgotten, this is my father's company. Alright? So, do I need permission from you? Of course not. So who are these people? That, please pardon my bad manners. These are the external auditors I brought in to audit the company's account so far, especially from the part where you became managing director. Since the accounts are not tallying. And just to know, lady, this is the acting hmm? managing director You're holding forth for me. You're welcome, sir. If you don't mind, who are stepping out, so. Gentlemen. In, th in that case, I would um, I would like them to come over to my office so I can hand them the accounts documents. Perfect. Then. It's okay. Perfect. So okay. you get the files. Mm -hmm. Please. It's okay. um, Thank please. You. Let's. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Sad. 